and a good Sunday to all my YouTube family and friends. I love you all, and I hope you have a blessed day and a safe day. This video is entirely on extreme weather safari, severe weather goes with tornadoes. Look, already today we got six severe weather warnings. Georgia, this one goes out in 29 minutes. Georgia, 29 minutes. Alabama, 44 minutes from now. Here's one in Alabama, goes out in around 29 minutes from now. And then we have one that will soon expire in 15 minutes in this area of Alabama, North Carolina. You're in there, Hornet, Johnson, Wayne, and Wilson County. You got about 14 more minutes before this storm passes you. Now, for those of you who may not believe me when I tell you the sun has a lot to do with our weather, you might believe me now because, look, we had this 8 up in the KP Index, Category 4, Solar storm. It was on the 24th and then the evening of the 25th. Look what happened. We had one of the worst tornadoes we've had in a long, 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 long time, my friends. This tornado that affected all the areas in the south traveled 59 miles. Now, it wasn't always on the ground, but it traveled at an EF4 category for 59 miles. The winds were 200 miles per hour. Now, this is what they have categorized it as now, an EF4. 26 kill, so many more hurt and missing still going on. Please pray for these folks, okay? So far as the weather today, we've already had a G1 today. Looking like it's going to calm down some. It does go back up some, though, during the nighttime, early nighttime hours. And we do have severe weather that could happen. Now, this is the KP index so far as solar storms. It could change, folks. It could change. I'm not saying it's going to, and I hope it does not. Now, the solar radiation is looking pretty good today through the 28th, only at 1%. And so far as flares and radio blackouts, it's at a 10% chance for R1s and R2s today through the 28th. With them awful R3X flares, they're only at 1% today through the 28th. For the severe weather today, you can see it right here. I've got a lot of details about this today for you. Before I get into it, please consider subscribing. Also, please, please, for me, share this video with your friends, your family, and on your social media to help me keep people aware of what might be coming their way and to help keep them safe, okay? And also, my channel on YouTube bumped me up a notch now. I'm able to have memberships. They put that on there. So, when I get so many members, I, I just started this membership stuff. When I get probably 35 members, I'll have a giveaway. If you'd like to join underneath this video, click join, and it'll take you where you can join. All kind of things that come along with being a membership. You get videos earlier than others before it goes public sometimes. Sometimes you do, and you get badges, and on the community page, you would be notified if something came up in your area. Now, let's just get on with this, okay? As you can see on this map, severe thunderstorms. They're going to likely occur from the central Louisiana area, eastward across the central Gulf states, and into the Carolinas. Now, tornadoes and strong tornadoes are possible, along with large hail, with the more intense storms. Now, you can see this is just a general outlining map of where some of these supercells could pop up. Now, up here, this is just one out of five. That don't mean you might not have anything. I mean, I've seen them happen with nothing up here. But I don't think you guys in Indiana and in Illinois will have a tornado today. However, anything's possible. But I think the more intense are going to be down here. You guys up in these areas... 
just rain and possibly thunderstorms. Now, when we come to the tornadoes, 10% chance, significant Pay that yellow mark no mind. Look at those black dash lines. That means significant chance of tornadoes. Now, the central Gulf Coast, east into the Carolinas. Now, we've already seen we've had some severe thunderstorm warnings up today during the morning hours. Well, as the day heats up today, during the daytime hours and it heats up, Expect more supercells to pop up, and they're going to pop up all day long. That's from the central Gulf Coast east to the Carolinas. Now, for Louisiana to Alabama, this is a tale of a different story. Why? Because we got a potent thermal dynamic comedic setting up from Louisiana east into Alabama. Now, I just said all those fancy words. What does it mean? It means that it's very, very favorable for very intense supercells to pop up during the afternoon into the evening with large to very large hail. That's very possible with any of these severe thunderstorms. Now, Along with it, it also means several tornadoes are possible, including very strong tornadoes. And we have a cluster of storms that's going to evolve and intensify by mid to late evening into this evening, right on through parts of the nighttime hours, and they're going to occur with severe risk moving more spreading to the east. Now, when we look at the wind, you can see it's going to start to intensify. And this wind is going to intensify from Louisiana, a little bit of eastern Texas, moving all the way up to southern North Carolina, down around Wilmington, just a little north of Wilmington and over. South Carolina, large portion of South Carolina, you got a good chance of some downdraft winds. That's like a little mini tornado. It just doesn't move as far and do as much damage, but it's very powerful wherever it occurs. And I'm not going to rule out that you could not have a tornado anywhere in this yellow area. Now, it looks like the most drastic, as I showed you, will go back over here. It's right in here in Mississippi and Alabama, but it's up to a 5% chance here from South Carolina all the way over to a little section of eastern Texas. Now, so far as that hail goes, look at this. Significant hail from South Carolina to Louisiana. Significant hail. Very, very large hail is possible. Two inches or bigger in diameter is possible. Please be aware of this and stay safe. Now, when we hop over to the end of the week, Friday, we do have that 15% chance of severe weather popping up from Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. And then as we pop over to Saturday, it grows bigger. It's still a 15% chance of very severe weather happening, but we got Texas, Oklahoma, northern Louisiana, North and northwestern Mississippi, western Tennessee, the whole state of Arkansas, the whole state of Missouri, a large portion of Illinois, and plus we have parts of Kansas over here. So, this is what it's looking like, folks. Today, today, if you live anywhere in Miss Alabama where you see black slashes, Please keep your eyes on the sky and be aware, especially later this afternoon and during the nighttime hours, you can't watch, but please make sure your cell phones are charged, you have a, a radio or some sort of communication that can get through to you to give you warnings and watches because it looks like it could be another bad day and night for severe weather. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Please stay safe. Don't mess with these storms. Please don't mess with them. If you're in this 5%, even in the 2%, 
I'm telling you, we've had bad tornadoes at 2%, 2%, 5%, 10%, and significant. If you're anywhere in these areas, please stay aware and stay safe today. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything you do for me. Please stay safe. Have a good day, a safe day, and a blessed day. And peace, love, and kindness to each of you. Thanks for watching.